Hi, welcome to this uh, installation where midst the installation of Xmonad and this video is about hey Xmonad crashes when I install everything. So, so when on VirtualBox and everything is installed, I just went through the installation of Xmonad, min uh, minimal one. I was a type a minus or a plus or a full one or a minus, the minimum. And when we reboot, we get um, a user saying Xmonad crashes. What are you delivering to us? Xmonad is something special. It's a special kind of desktop. So when we log in, we are going to see an Xmonad that's just working. But so that's after the installation, if whether it be in VirtualBox or SSD or hard disk, doesn't matter. So once you install everything, everything is fine. But then of course you go ahead and you say, let's update the system because it's been a while and we get these errors. Let's repeat that as well in this video. You'll see errors in the beginning because of the fact that we've switched uh, the server. It's called Pike and Arco Linux mirror list is going to change that for you. So this time you'll see errors. Next time the mirror list is installed and it's done. So that's why we say update twice and it's finished. So what about this Xmona thing that crashes all the time? So control alt G, let's have a look. Google Chrome is not installed. <laughs> this is the minimal Xmonad. Control alt V, Vivaldi installed. Vivaldi is installed. So let's see if um, Arco Linux Xmonad fails. Who knows? Fix for fail to start. No, no, not. It will detect. Okay, overview. Build fails. Hmm. Anyway, I need to go to one of the websites. But we need to go to Arco Linux D, my best guess to phase three, to one of the articles, it's one of those guys. So that's always how I go back to my articles. So can't log in into Xmonad or Xmonad throws me back to login screen after entering my password. The thing is with this um, particular desktop and it's the only one until now, we have 13 desktops still till now, June, 2019. We need to remember to recompile Xmonad after all these updates that have been going on. Take a look at all the Haskell stuff that's in here. If you just do not press the buttons Super Shift R or in a terminal Xmonad recompile. And how do you can can you remember this? Well, by remembering the desktop name, Man Xmonad. Let's have a look. There you go. And it has here the reference recompile, and it seems to work with one dash as well. So <coughs> there you go, you can have this information or you can type help and there it has two dashes, okay. So recompile, that's the thing that's gonna save your neck, but like everybody else, I forget this too. So then you are stuck to, to a system that doesn't work. So let's break our system again. There's this, in this video, it's, it's done as well but it's um, important to get the word out there. That's, that's no frustration. And you need to remember when you're on Xmonad, you need to recompile after an update. So I should have done recompile. I have not done it and I'm going to sudo reboot it. And then you'll see <coughs> what's gonna happen. <coughs> Sorry, boot existing OS, there you go. You're all fine, so let's have fun. The updated your system, you go to LightDM and LightDM wants to run Xmonad, but it can't. And there you go, you're back at square one. And you say, what rubbish is this? It's not, it's just Xmonad. It's an application that you're trying to run and all the, 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 the new software is in, but you did not recompile it, this application. So if you are on SSD hard disk, you press Control Alt F2, F3, F4, F5, F6. These are all TTYs. You get to this login, black thing, login, password, and you're in. 
you type xmore that recompile. But I am on VirtualBox. I need to press the right control on my keyboard and then F2. And I get the same as the control alt F2 on an SSD. So like I said, login, password, and that's the only thing you need to remember, xmonad recompile. He's recompiling, done. Now you go to control alt F7, or in my case, the right control F7 on VirtualBox. I'm back at my xorg screen here, graphical screen, and I go and I log in. And it's simple as that if you know it. And then you have a working system again. So if you do an update, you'll see that there is nothing to update anymore. There is no errors as well. So if on the bike .seathost.eu server at this point, and the only thing I can check out if there are updates is from AOR. So Trizon and Vivaldi are going to be built, but that's not the point of the video. But remember Haskell is an application. It needs to, recom be, to, to be recompiled in order to work. But like I said, I forget it too. It's an easy switch. Go to the T2I, recompile, go back, log in. Done. All right, have fun.